Hey, good afternoon. Today is Thursday, February 16th, and I'm out at the farm today. And it's kind of a, a little bit overcast. Sun's peeking through a little bit, but I had a thought about recording a video on whether you could charge an electric car on solar. People are always thinking, you know, why, why can't you put a solar panel on top of the car and let that charge? Well, there, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it and how I made it work. And, uh, and then you can, you know, use those thoughts to develop your own setup or use it however you like. Um, so first of all, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the car plugged in. Now, first off, I put in a 50 amp plug. Um, I have on my portable charger, I have, this is a 50 amp plug. Now I've always put the ground on the bottom, but in this case, the ground should be at the top, but I haven't turned that around yet. So I'm going to just plug this in. So it's talking to the car. Now let's hop in. Now right here is what you're watching. So I have 237 volts going in at 17 amps. And that's giving me 20 miles per hour. And it'll take me four and a half hours to get to I think I'm set at 90% right now. Okay, now here on the screen, you can actually adjust how many amps you want the inverters to put into the car. Now I could increase it, but what I really try to do is I want to balance it to where the sun is producing everything I need to charge the car and I'm not draining anything out of the batteries. Okay, let's walk back to where everything is. Okay, so you can see here, the panels are putting out 2300 watts. Now the car just kicked in. It's ramping up. 4,000. It'll usually go up to around 5,000. All right, 5,300 watts is what the car's putting out are requesting from the batteries and the panels are putting out 18 1900 watts it's kind of a cloudy day today now it's actually pulling 4200 watts out of my batteries right now so essentially if i wanted to charge the car for a few hours it's going to drain my batteries the panels will put out whatever they want kind of the idea is like when the panels are producing that goes right into the ac load so you can see here both of these are going into the inverter and going to the AC load. Now, on a sunny day, summer day, when it's sunny out, you're gonna get right around 5,000, 5,300 watts will come out of the panels, which would be ideally because your panels would be charging the car and your batteries would stay at where they're supposed to be. Now, what I can do, let's see here, so I have this set at 22. Let's lower it down. All right, I can't see what I'm doing here. Yeah, let's go 15 amps. Okay. So now we watch it at 15 amps. Yeah, it drops down considerably. 3,700 watts. So that's not too bad. So it's only taking 2,800 watts out of the batteries. Now, if this jumps back up, this will go back down here. So it's kind of a push pull. Now, if I turn out this light, it takes it a second to sense it. You see, it just dropped again. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at now. Not a lot of sun out today, but the car is charging just fine 
on the solar setup. Now what I have in here is I have two quattros, 5,000 watts each, 120 amps, 24 volts. Now my batteries, I have 16 lithium batteries that are connected parallel together and then they're all in a series. So essentially I got 800 amp hours going in for my power. And then over here for the car, I put a 40 amp breaker. So the way the quattros work is you actually connect them together with the computer. So they're kind of working out of sync of each other. And then the, the 240 volts goes through here. So each one gets 110, but then they're, they're switching back and forth so that the car can actually charge and get 240 volts. Now they do make quattros that are 240 volts themselves, but you really, you really don't need them. Um, these are not even like ramping up at all to pull this load. It's a pretty light load for them. So if you look on line one and line two, each quattro is putting out 1800 watts. So that's really not, not bad at all. Um, yeah, so it works good. So you can charge the car on solar during the day. But what I want to do when I'm charging is, is I want to set it to where the panels are producing all the power I need to charge a car and not the batteries. So today, because of the sun and the clouds, it's not ideal, um, but they are producing, so that's good. Okay, so you could see on the display in the solar room that the car was pulling 5,300 watts of power. Um, my panels that I have installed are 16 panels at 345 watts. So I think that gives me a real around 5,500 5, watts of power that I would have on 100% sun on a good day. Now, if the car is pulling that much power out of the, the, the unit here itself, you would need that many panels in order to charge your car at 20 amps, 240 volts, and it was saying it would take four and a half hours to do that. So it's just not feasible that you could install enough solar on top of a car that you could do anything other than just trickle charge the battery. Um, if I'm plugged into a normal 110 volt outlet, it'll add about three miles per hour to the car. And most of the time that takes at least 24 hours to charge the car. With this, it takes four and a half hours so can you charge your car on solar? Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you certainly can. Um, you will need a substantial system in order to make it work. But yes, you can charge your EV on solar off-grid.